Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tutorial for you. So I wanted to show you something that I wanted to create and we're going to create it together. I was going through Disney Plus and I kind of was looking at these buttons and I was like, you know, wouldn't it be cool if I could create my own buttons similar to this? So we're going to go ahead and create that today. So let's see what happens here. First of all, it's just a regular button with the uh, National Geographic uh, picture over here and logo. And of course, when you hover over it, it, the button gets bigger. It has that white border, right? And uh, a video shows in the background here. So when we inspect this, we actually see that this is the image, the logo, and it's an actual video. Now, they have some advanced uh, JavaScript and all going on and CSS going on here, but I'm going to do it on a different approach that uh, will make my life and hopefully your life a lot easier also. So let's go ahead and let's start with getting this video. So um, it's just this video here is just a regular background video, which is why I'm using it. I don't want to use any of these other videos because it could be copywritten by... Uh, by Disney. So let's go ahead and inspect this once more. Go over here, go to the video here, right click on the video, say open a new tab, and here's the actual video. So we're gonna link to this video right here. So we're gonna copy this and put it in our clipboard. So let's start out by creating the outer SVG. So we're gonna create the SVG Again, this is a snippet that I have entered. If you want to see how I did the snippet, just let me know. I also have a video about it. And uh, we're going to make our video 1280 by 720, which won't matter because obviously it could be very small, but I just want these dimensions, okay? I have it automatically set up with a green solid border, but what we're going to do is have a dark gray solid border, okay? And there's our uh, SVG, as you can see, as I make it larger and smaller, it changes um, proportionally because of this proportion right here. We can go ahead and completely style it. Let's give ourselves an ID, which equals my SVG. Let's do the uh, body and the back and the HTML. Let's make it black. Oops background black and uh, so let's go with my SVG and give it a couple of more um, styles here uh, we said it's dark gray solid let's see the border radius seven pixels let's say width of 85 percent so it doesn't push up against our borders and a max width uh, let's put it at 600 pixels okay so now we have this so far and why did my body oh sorry i forgot my comma right here we're gonna run that and here we have what we're looking for and uh, let's make this background a little bit brighter let's just make it gray let's make it a light gray just so that we can see some separation here. Good, good, good. So we're gonna give this a um, box shadow and we're gonna say uh, 3px, 3px and we're gonna give it a 3px and black. That works out pretty good. Okay, let's center it. So to center it, we're gonna say margin zero auto actually 20 I wanted 20 pixels and notice that it doesn't center and that's because it needs to be display block it needs to be turned into a block item and there we have it so now we have our SVG working out pretty good okay so now we're gonna do a um, transition, 0.4 seconds. 
And so when we hover, we want the border to be white solid. And we want the transform scale to be 1.02. We don't, we don't want it to be too big. So we're going to do that. And now we we have our our border. Let's see the border. Oh, the border is in line, so we got to make sure that this is in here. Okay. So now it'll actually affect it. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So now that we have that, let's put some content in here. So the first thing we, we really want to put is the video. Why do we want to do that? Because with an SVG, it also cascades. So the first thing you put is the bottom most thing that you put. So in order to add a, a video to an SVG, which you have to say is a foreign object, and then put the video in there. And there's our video. So let's see what happens. Well, absolutely nothing happened. Well, the reason that is, is because we have to give some uh, information here. We want to X to be zero. So that it could be a bright corner and the Y to be zero. We want the width to be 100% and the height to be 100%. Okay. And there's our video. So now here's the problem with the video. The video itself needs to be sized. So we'll go ahead and do that. Say width equals 100%. Height equals 100%. Run that. And there we have it. The video is in the background completely. Okay. So what we're going to do now is make sure that it automatically plays looped in the background. So we're going to say autoplay muted and now it's auto playing in the background and as you see the whole thing expands so now what's left to do is to actually add a um the uh you know make this go away and add the text or pictures or whatever else so let's first put one on top of this which is the giant background that we want to do because that's actually good the the actual background is going to go away when we hover so let's make that separate let's go ahead and put that on zero zero we're going to make the weight width 100 percent and we're going to make the height 100 percent we're going to fill it with gray just regular old gray and uh this is what we get Boom. Okay. So let's also put this as ID equals my rectangle. Okay. And let's go ahead and manipulate that. So when my SVG hover, we do all this, but also when my SVG hover, copy that, we want what's inside of it, my uh, rectangle to opacity zero. Say run. So when we hover over it, it goes to opacity zero. And of course we want that to be smooth. So let's go ahead and say my rectangle, uh, transition 0.4 seconds. Run that. And now we have a nice smooth transition there. 
And as you can guess, the next part is really, really easy because all we have to do is add some text. We're going to put here, um, welcome with an exclamation point. And so you have to put the text anchor to be middle and the alignment baseline to be central in order for it to come here in the middle here. And uh, we're also going to say ID equals my text. Okay. And uh, we're going to run that. And as you can see, it's right there in the middle. We got to do some changes of the color here. So we're going to say fill equals white. Okay. And then we're going to go here to my text. And we're going to try to figure out what size we want. So uh, font size, let's try uh, 10 REM. I think that's pretty close to what we want. That kind of works. Okay. And as you can see, it does exactly what we need. It automatically goes in the background and keeps playing. Oh, what we forgot to do was loop the video. So let's go ahead and do that. Autoplay, muted, and loop. So we run this. And now we have a nice looped video as long as we hold our mouse on top of the video button. And of course, you could take the entire SVG, put it in an anchor tag, and turn it into a button that uh, leads to something else. Really easy. So, you know, all you would do is take this here, get an A tag, href to wherever you want it to go, take this entire SVG, X, paste, run it. And now my my hand turns my mouse turns into a hand because it is a link, okay. And uh, as you can see, the back the uh, the shadow also changes sizes, and we have pretty much duplicated or replicated what they have here in the Disney button, and we did that with SVG. So let's just talk a little bit about what we did. We took an SVG, we put a foreign object in it, we put a rectangle on top of the foreign object, and we put a text on top of that. So there's no need to do any type of uh, positioning in the CSS because the positioning happens automatically in the SVG. Inside the SVG's foreign object, we went ahead and added our video, our HTML, HTML5 video. What we did with that, we, we had to make the foreign object have an X and a Y axis and a width of a certain type. And our video also had to match that in order for this to all work. As a matter of fact, if I were to change this to 20% and, well, there's just that much, you can see it pushes it over by 20%. It clips it actually by 20%. So we can go ahead and change this back to zero. And there we go. Actually didn't clip it, it actually pushed it over, okay? So then we went ahead and added some simple CSS to each one of the SVG um, elements and uh, by the way, you can actually add this SVG inside, I'm sorry, this CSS inside the SVG by putting here style and adding it like that. And now when you add or when you upload the actual SVG, you can add that automatically to the SVG, but that I digress. So we added all of our normal CSS and see how short our CSS is because all we did was add it to each one of the elements. And there we have it, a nice button that has a video in the background with our text on top of it. And you can change this text uh, font to anything you want. So for instance, we can go to my text right here and say font family sans serif. And now it's a sans serif font. We can even do 
uh, cursive. Run that over there. And now we have a cursive font, which doesn't work with capital letters, but you get the idea. So SVG is a wonderful, wonderful thing to use. And uh, I hope that you would use it more often um, because it has wonderful possibilities. It's very powerful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a wonderful day.